Hi, I'm Matthew Hurst, Product Line Manager at Belden, and this video is a reference guide to explain the types of networks in use today. Used for everything from accessing the internet or printing a document to downloading an attachment from an email, networks are the backbone of business today. They can refer to a small handful of devices within a single room to millions of devices spread across the entire globe and can be defined based on purpose and or size. Personal area networks are the smallest and most basic type of network. A PAN, a PAN, is made up of a wireless modem, a computer or two, phones, printers, tablets, etc., and revolves around one person in one building. These types of networks are typically found in small offices or residences and are managed by one person or organization from a single device. Local area networks are the most frequently discussed networks, one of the most common, most original, and simplest types of networks. LANs, L-A-N, connect groups of computers and low-voltage devices together across short distances to share information and resources. Functioning like a LAN, wireless local area networks make use of wireless network technology such as Wi-Fi. Typically seen in the same types of applications as LANs, these types of networks don't require that devices rely on physical cables to connect to the network. Campus area networks are typically seen in universities, large K-12 school districts, or small businesses. They can be spread across several buildings that are fairly close to each other so users can share resources. Metropolitan area networks span an entire geographic area, typically a town or city, but sometimes a campus. Ownership and maintenance are handled by either a single person or company, a local council, a large company, etc. Slightly more complex than a LAN, a wide area network connects computers together across longer physical distances. This allows computers and low voltage devices to be remotely connected to each other over one large network to communicate even when they're miles apart. A storage area network moves storage resources away from the network and places them into their own high performance network. SANS, S-A-N, can be accessed in the same fashion as a drive attached to a server. Types of storage area networks include converged, virtual, and unified SANS. A system area network, which is also known as a SAN, is used to explain a relatively local network that is designed to provide high-speed connection in server-to-server -server applications, storage area network, and processor-to-processor -processor applications. A point-to-multipoint LAN architecture Passive optical local area networks uses optical splitters to split an optical signal from one strand of single mode optical fiber into multiple signals to serve users and devices. Enterprise private networks are built and owned by businesses that want to securely connect its various locations to share computer resources. By extending a private network across the internet, a virtual private network lets its users send and receive data as if their devices were connected to the private network, even if they're not. Through a virtual point-to-point -point connection, users can access a private network remotely. Thanks for watching.